السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس امید ہے کہ آپ لوگ آج خیریت سے ہوں گے آپ نے کبھی مائکروسکوپ کو دیکھا ہے جی ہاں مائکروسکوپ اس انسٹرومنٹ کو کہتے ہیں جس کے اندر سے ہم چھوٹے چھوٹے انویزیبل بیکٹیریا اور چیزوں کو دیکھ سکتے ہیں مجھے بہت فیسنیٹ کرتے تھے مائکروسکوپس وہ اس لیے کیونکہ میں ہمیشہ یہ سوچتی تھی کہ ہاؤ از اٹ پاسبل دیٹ مائکروسکوپس لیٹ اس پیئر ان سائڈ انویزیبل ورلڈس جو ہم نیکڈ آئی سے کبھی بھی نہیں دیکھ سکتے مائنیوٹ لٹل کریچرس چھوٹے چھوٹے اور دا اسٹرکچرس آف سیلس کین بی آبزرو یوزنگ اے مائکروسکوپ دیٹ از امیزنگ اینڈ ویئر ایز دا ٹیلیسکوپ ٹیکس اس فار بی آن دی ارتھ ٹو دا اسٹارز اینڈ پلانٹس آف دا نائٹ اسکائی پھر آتے ہیں مووی پروجیکٹرس وچ تھرو انارمس امیجز آن ٹو اسکرینس اینڈ لائٹ ہاؤسز کاسٹ ری شوڈنگ بیمس آف لائٹ فار اکراس دا اوشن یہ سب کچھ کیسے پاسبل ہے امیزنگ کروز آف گلاس اور پلاسٹک کا لینس میک آل دیز تھنگس پاسبل بٹ ریمبر دیز آر ناٹ دا لینزز دیٹ پیپل یوز فار دا آئیز نو These are special kind of lenses known as optical lenses. Now, what are the lenses? A lens is a transparent piece of glass or plastic with at least one curved surface. It gets its name from the Latin word for lentil, which is a type of pulse used in cooking. But it's not confusing. It looks like the most common kind of lens. And it also looks very much like a lentil. Convex lens bulge out in the middle like lentils, while concave lenses cave in in the middle and bulge out at the sides. Now we will see them more and see how the lens works. A lens works by refraction. It bends the light rays as they pass through it so that they change direction. This means that the rays seem to come from a point that's closer or further away from where they actually originate. And that is what makes objects seem through the lens seem bigger or smaller than they really are. When we talk mirrors, we always talk with the lens. So we can also say that the lens is the transmissive optical device that focuses or disperses light beams by means of the transmissive optical device that focuses or disperses light beams by means of refraction. A lens can focus light to form an image, unlike a prism, which refracts light without focusing. Let's look at what are the different types of lenses. The classification of a lens depends upon how the light rays bend when they pass through the lens. We have basically two main types of lenses. Ki. Convex lens, which are also called converging, and concave lens, which are also called ڈائیورجنگ سب سے پہلے دیکھتے ہیں کنویکس لینسز کو ان اے کنویکس لینس وچ از سم ٹائمس کالڈ اے پازیٹیو لینس دا گلاس اور پلاسٹک سرفیس از بلج آؤٹ ورڈس ان دا سینٹر گونگ دا کلاسک لینٹل لائک شیپ اے کنویکس لینس از آلسو کالڈ اے کنورجنگ لینس بیکاز اٹ میکس پیرل لائٹ ریز پاسنگ تھرو ایٹ بینڈ ان ورڈ اینڈ میٹ یعنی کنورج ایٹ اے پوائنٹ جسٹ بی آن دا لینس نون ایز دا فوکل پوائنٹ آپ کو یاد ہوگا فوکل لینتھ کے بارے میں ہم نے پڑھا تھا میرس کے ایپیزوڈ میں دا ڈسٹینس فرام دا سینٹر آف دا لینس ٹو دا فوکل پوائنٹ از دا فوکل لینتھ آف دا لینس فوکل لینتھ کو بھی دیکھ لیتے ہیں دا فوکل پوائنٹ از آن دا اپوزٹ سائڈ آف دا لینس ٹو دیٹ فرام وچ دا لائٹ ریز اوریجنیٹ کنویکس لینس آپ ارد گرد اپنے دیکھیں تو کہاں یوز ہوتے ہیں کنویکس لینسز آر یوز ان تھنگز لائک ٹیلیسکوپس اینڈ بائنوکولرس ٹو برنگ ڈسٹنٹ لائٹ ریز ٹو اے فوکس ان یور آئیز کیا آپ کو پتا ہے ہمارے ہیومن آئی کے اندر بھی یہ لینسز ہیں جی ہاں ناؤ لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ کنکیو لینسز کنکیو لینسز آر آلسو کالڈ ڈائیورجنگ لینس And a concave lens is exactly the opposite with the outer surface curving inward so that it makes parallel light rays curve outward or diverge. 
That is why concave lenses are sometimes called diverging lenses. I know कि आप हमेशा confused होते हो कि convex कौन सा है और concave कौन सा है मैं भी इसी confusion का शिकार होती हूँ So one easy way to remember the difference between concave and convex lenses is to think of concave lenses caving inwards. Concave के word में cave आता है और caving inwards में भी cave आता है I hope this helps. A concave lens makes parallel light rays diverge spread out so that they appear to come out from a point behind the lens which is the focal point. The distance from the center of the lens to the focal point is again the focal length of the lens. But however in this case since the light rays don't really come from here we call it a virtual focal point. Concave lenses are used in things like TV projectors to make light rays spread out into the distance. In a flashlight it's easier to do this job with a mirror which usually weighs much less than a lens and is cheaper to manufacture as well. Then we also have compound lenses. It is possible to make lenses that behave in more complex ways by combining convex and concave lens. And a lens that uses two or more simpler lenses in this way is called a compound lens. Convex lenses are thick in the middle and thinner at the sides. And a convex lens is also known as the converging lens as the light rays bend inwards and converge at a point which is known as the focal length. On the other hand, a concave lens is flat in the middle and thicker at the sides. The concave lens is also known as a diverging lens because it bends the parallel light rays outward and diverges them at the focal point. Simple lens and compound lens are the two classifications of lenses. Simple lenses are different from compound lenses based on this surface of curvature. Simple lenses only consist of a single piece of transparent material. Jabki compound lenses ke andar bahut se different simple lenses hoti hain jinko aise arrange kiya jata hai common axis ke sath ki wo hame compound lenses lagti hain. Ab dekhte hain about the different types of simple lenses. Jaisa aap is figure mein dekh sakte hain Compound lenses are those constructed out of a combination of different simple lenses. The lens type used to build a compound lens may have different refraction indices and other properties. Lenses kahan kahan use hoti hain? Aur hum aaj lenses ke bare mein padh hi kyun rahe hain? Ek to hamari use hoti hain hamare human eye mein. Aapko pata hai? Aapki eyes mein बाइनोक्यूलर्स में और मैग्नीफाइंग लेंस में सब चीजों में एक चीज कॉमन है और वो क्या है वो ये है दैट दे ऑल दीज थिंग्स यूज कन्वेक्स लेंस आप में से ग्लासेस कितने बच्चे पहनते हैं दैट इज बिकॉज द ग्लास यूज देर इज एन नॉर्मल वन इट इज अ कंकेव लेंस चले स्पेक्टिकल्स या ग्लासेस के बारे में कुछ पढ़ लेते हैं कन्वेक्स लेंस are used to correct far sighted vision problems similarly concave lenses are used to correct near sightedness low glasses isliye pehnte hain kyunki andar jo lens hoti hain wo contract ho jati hain and then jo image aapke eye pe hota hai wo theek se nahi banta so the person sees only a blurred image of the object to overcome this problem one needs to use spectacles students microscopes or telescopes mein bhi lenses hote hain If you have used a microscope in the lab or a telescope you must have noticed that they you can see very very tiny and minute objects kyun compound microscopes and telescopes use both convex and concave lenses even cameras mein lenses hote hain exactly cameras mein at times concave or convex lens ka dono ke combination use hoti hain aur lasers mein bhi concave lens बहुत ज्यादा इस्तेमाल होता है द एक्चुअल लाइट रे इज हाईली स्पेसिफिक विच मे डैमेज इक्विपमेंट वेर इट इज यूज द डाइवर्जिंग लेंस रेक्टिफाइज दिस इशू फ्लैश लाइट में कैसे लेंस होती है मैंने आपको बताया था मिरर्स के साथ कंकेव लेंस आर ऑल्सो फाइंड एप्लीकेशन इन फ्लैश लाइट विद लाइट बीम डाइवर्जेस फॉर ब्रॉडर एरिया कवरेज स्टूडेंट्स अब हम इस एपिसोड के की पॉइंट पर गौर करते हैं Number 1 a lens is a transparent piece of glass or plastic 
with at least one curved surface. Convex lens bulge out in the middle like lentils, while concave lens cave in in the middle and bulge out at the sides. Number two, a lens can focus light to form an image. Number three, there are two main types of lenses. Convex lens, which are also known as converging lens, and concave lens, which are also known as diverging lens. A convex lens is also called a converging lens because it makes parallel light rays passing through it bend inward and meet at a point just beyond the lens known as the focal point. Jabke a concave lens is exactly the opposite, with the outer surfaces curving inward so that it makes parallel light rays curve outward or diverge. That is why concave lenses are sometimes called diverging lens. Number 4. Lens are widely used in everyday life. For example, in microscopes, telescopes, flashlights, cameras, in the human eye, spectacles, etc. Now we will test our test and see what we learned from today's episode. Question number 1. What type of lens is wider in the middle than on the edges? A. Concave B. Convex C. Objective D. Ocular The correct answer is B. Convex Question number 2. What type of lens is thinner in the middle than at the edges? A. Convex B. Concave C. Objective D. Magnifying The correct answer is B. Concave Question number 3. When light passes through a convex lens, it does this. A. Diverge or spread apart B. Converge or come together C. Reflect or bounce off D. Create a rainbow The correct answer is B. Converge or come together Question number 4 The point at which light rays converge after passing through a convex lens is called A. The horizon point B. The point break C. The focal point D. The perspective The correct answer is C. The focal point Question number 5 Light bends as it passes through a lens. This is called A. Reflection B. Diffraction C. Refraction D. Dilation The correct answer is C. Refraction Question number 6. What type of lens do you have in your eyes? A. Concave B. Prismatic C. Objective D. Convex The correct option is D. Convex Question number 7. Most eyeglasses use which type of lens? A. Concave B. Prismatic C. Objective D. Convex The correct answer is A. Concave Question number 8. The angle of the incoming rays of light is also called A. Angle of reflection B. Angle of refraction C. Angle of incident D. Wave angle The correct answer is Angle of reflection A. Question number 9. The distance between a convex lens and its focal point is called A. The focus B. The focal length C. The wavelength D. The amplitude The correct answer is B. The focal length Question number 10 The thicker the convex lens, the dash its focal length A. Shorter B. Longer C. Thicker D. Thinner the correct answer is A. Shorter. Students, agli episode tak apna pohat khayal Allah hafiz.